New developments in Paul and Ruben Flores' preliminary hearing. We learned today that convicted killer Scott Peterson will most likely not be called on to testify. This is in the Kristen Smart murder case, of course. Also, the backyard of the Flores' is a Royal Grande home took center stage again today. News Channel 3's Dave Alley joins us live from San Luis Obispo County Superior Court. Dave. Well, CJ and Beth, in the last hour of court today, defense attorney Robert Sanger presented a list of uh, witnesses he hopes to call to the stand. Judge Craig Van Royen then went one by one ruling who he would and would not allow uh, to testify. One of those potential suspects, Scott Peterson, who was a Cal Poly student at the time, Kristen Smart disappeared. Sanger arguing that he may possibly be a suspect in the case. Van Royen, though, ruled that Peterson will not be allowed to testify, but he did leave open a slight possibility should the defense present to the court new information that shows that Peterson is relevant to the case. Now on the witness stand today, uh, just one witness, uh, that was Shelby Liddell, a San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's forensic specialist, uh, previously testified last week. During cross-examination from Sanger, she mostly answered questions centering around the, the search of Ruben Flores Arroyo Grande home this past March and April. Sanger is zeroing in on the odd staining that investigators discovered in the dirt under the deck. Sanger asked how staining uh, that resembled a, a bathtub ring could remain intact if a body was buried there in the hole and then taken out. Liddell indicated it's possible a body may have been buried above the sloped dig site and whatever caused the stain may have leaked downhill. Now, we were expecting testimony from Jennifer Hudson today. She's turned out to be a, a central figure during this preliminary hearing, testifying earlier that Paul Flores told her that he had buried Smart in Wasna, the rural community outside of Arroyo Grande. Defense also alleging she's had inappropriate communication with the lead sheriff's detective and has also been manipulated by podcaster Chris Lambert. So there was great interest in her uh, retaking the stand today, but we learned right after the lunch break she would not be in uh, this afternoon, a personal scheduling conflict uh, uh, preventing her from appearing in court today. She's now expected to appear when uh, this case and uh, this hearing picks back up, uh, but won't be for, for quite a while now, not for 11 days. Court will be off tomorrow and all next week as well. This preliminary hearing now, a month and a half long, will resume on Monday, September 20th. That's the latest from here, reporting live in San Luis Obispo, Dave Valley, News Channel 3. All right, thank you, Dave.